had all met around the same time, but we didn't really know that all three of us knew each other. Brett and I used to start sharing recordings with each other of little things that we'd make up, like, here, I got a song, you got a song. And then we had this audacious idea to let's make an album and forget about having a band. So about a couple songs in, we're like, this would be a lot easier for a band. <laughs> yeah. I knew I wanted to some, start something uh, sort of in, in or play in a garage band, basically. It started off um, with any any idea was a good idea. And then slowly but surely, you, you take the better ones and you keep those and you take take the other ones and you kind of just whittle through well, you know, what is good or not. And um, over the years, it just kind of got easier and easier to play. And we all just kind of knew each other better and better. We had this whole equal part sharing thing where the three of us all get to write songs. All three of us get to sing. It's what's known as Hollow 45s today. When we first played a show, we weren't thinking about recording. We were just thinking we want to go play the show. And we went, and our live sound was so fun. When people got into it, we, they seemed to enjoy it. When we went to record, uh, we were just like, let's do it like we're playing a show. Let's do it live. And so our philosophy for recording is basically bring the energy from a live show and just have fun with it. Recording's like another instrument. I mean, however, everyone has their own style. You can't really listen on how it all fits together at the same time. You have to focus on each individual thing. So I'm still learning from the fact that I play drums and a little bit of piano, but I, I don't really know how bass and guitar is supposed to sound in the song. So that's where, like, I'm, I'm still learning that from those guys. I would say sometimes the, one of the issues would be like, <laughs> the snare sounds muffled or something, like something just kind of naturally sounds off. How do we make it sound like us? The songs we've been recording where the part maybe wasn't there before, and then as we're recording the parts there, and then I'm like, oh, we gotta play it every time now. That was great. Music evolves as you play it. Like you always keep learning new stuff. Like maybe someone brings a new riff to the table or something. Luckily, we're able to just build off of each other, and so the I I feel like our music changes a lot, but it doesn't really change what it's about or like what it's supposed to mean. We're not going to record something if we're not really sure about it, even if it's not 100% worked out. If there's one that, you know, we're like, I don't know about this one, you're not going to go and enforce it. I'm not afraid to say that I love playing live more than I like recording. Like, I like playing for a room full of people and seeing how they, fun. like, yeah, whether or not they like the music. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> but we, <laughs> so, so it's so we, but yeah, we, it's just tool tool experiment, it's okay. No, so when I see that people aren't really digging the music, I don't play it for them anymore, I play it for me. Like, I, I love her, I love her music. Thank you. 